What's up YouTube? It's Maestro. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys kind of a little bit more in depth on how to sample your Nord pianos or your Nord keyboard um, into your Yamaha Modi X Plus, Modi X M, and Montage keyboards. So the first thing you're going to actually need, I kind of did a little overview of it in the previous video, um, but in this video, we're going to show you guys a little bit more. So what you're going to want to need is one of these. You're going to need one of these USB cables. It's almost what you call like a printer cable. So the one end looks like this. And you have your regular USB side here. So what you're going to do is plug the first part into the back of your Nord. And then you're going to plug the second part into your PC or your laptop. All right, so after you have plugged your NOR into your PC, what you wanna do is head over to the Yamaha Music site. I'm going to put a link in the description uh, where you can get access to the sample robot. It is free to, for Yamaha Montage and Modi X owners. Once you have sample robot downloaded, what we're gonna do is go to file. We're then gonna go to project wizard. Um, another important note, um, this is what I will be detailing in the next few steps. Go ahead and make sure that your Nord keyboard is set to the piano that you want to sample. After that, we're going to go to next. We'll hit automatic recording MIDI instruments. Then we're going to name this Nord. And we're going to say WG for white grand. Then we're going to hit next. We're going to make sure that we have our mixer or audio interface that we're using selected. In this case, I have my Mackie Onyx mixer, and we're going to choose that. Then we're going to choose the sample rate. I'm going to choose 48 kilohertz. After that, we're going to choose North Stage 4 MIDI. Then we're going to choose MIDI channel 1, and then we're going to make sure this is MIDI channel 0 because if it's set to 1, once the sample robot starts recording, it'll change your NOR to the very first program within your keyboard. We're going to choose 88 keys. Velocity layers, I always choose 5 because I, seem, I feel that that is the most, um, one of the perfect velocity amounts to have within a piano. And then next, we're going to choose three steps, which means this will sample every three notes within the keyboard. We'll hit next. And then for note length, I always choose 15. Next, auto loop is going to be off. So we'll hit finish. And then we can actually tell if this is going to work by how our peak meter is looking here at the top right. So what you want to make sure that you have enough volume coming from your Nord into Sample Robot. If it is too low, they're going to make it's going Sample Robot is going to make up the rest of that gain with white noise, and you don't want that. You're already going to have a little bit of white noise when you record, so that you're going to have to EQ out into your Yamaha Modi X or Montage. Okay, once we're ready, we'll hit Start Recording. And once this starts, you can go make a sandwich. <laughs> and if, like I said, um, you can go make a sandwich. You know, you can go to the grocery store and do whatever you need to do because this will take a while. And once it is done, it'll say 100%, and then you can close out. Once that's done, this is what it's going to look like. We're going to go to Open Project. We're going to go to Data. We'll say Nord White Grand. First Velocity, and here. And so this is what everything is going to look like. You'll see you have your velocity settings here, velocity 24, velocity 50, velocity 75, 101, and 127. And then what you're going to want to do is go to each individual note in each velocity and cut out as much as you want um, regarding how much tail end of the note you want. And 
that's going to loop as much as it wants um, so you can actually hear what what's going on and how the sound um, of the sample is going to be done after you're done with that you're going to go and go to import slash export you're going to go to export selected project as and you're going to choose x7l do not choose x7u or this will erase every user performance that you have in your board after that is done you're going to plug in your usb drive and you're going to load load this into your uh, device so you'll go to um, export export as export as, uh, x7l 48 kilohertz and then we're going to hit ok and then if i have my usb drive selected we're going to have it selected here okay and then in the next clip or um, yes in the next clip we're going to show you i'm going to show you how to load it in and get the best sound for your piano all right guys so what we're going to do is go into utility then we're going to go into load i have a specific folder within my usb for sample robot so i'm going to hit sample robot and we'll choose the white grand now this is going to take some time as well maybe a good five to ten minutes to load in but once it does what you're going to do then after that is you'll go into category you go where it says bank and favorite and then you're going to go and choose your nord white grand now i've already crafted a user performance for the white grand so i'm actually going to show you um the settings that i use to get the best um out of this sample so initially you're going you're not going to have any velocity when it comes to the sample even though you have selected that for the within sample robot for whatever reason when you plug it into the modi x or montage you won't have any velocity it's just going to be a straight uh piano so what you're going to want to do is go to edit you're then going to want to go to part one and we'll choose element one this is how you're going to get that soft piano or at least that soft velocity back into the piano all you want to do is go to part one element one we're then going to go to amplitude and for amplitude, we're going to make sure that velocity level is 127, level velocity plus 8, offset at 31, and curve at 2. And then for the rest of the elements, we're just going to put those at 2. Now for um, element 2, I have a level velocity of 4, offset of 31. You can do whichever one you would like. It's just based off of preference. But for the rest of them, all of the curves is at 2 and everything else is at 0. Now, when it comes to EQing, this is very important as well. So, back to common effects and EQ. I have a VCM EQ 501. Um, I pretty much got have everything stock. The only things I did change was EQ 3 and EQ 4. Both of those I brought all the way down at 18 dB. Remember previously I told I stated that you will have some white noise and so you're going to have to EQ that out or you will have that in your recording um, and it's going to be very abrasive and you're not going to like it. So for EQ3, negative 18 dB, 13.2 kilohertz and the Q knob at 8. Neg and EQ4, negative 18 dB, 16 kilohertz, Q knob at 8. And then I added a little bit of high gain for the... Um, piano then I added a damper resonance for the white grand and damper control at 31 and a dry wet at 38 and for the um, three band EQ I took out a little bit more DB um, additional uh, with 5.15 kilohertz and 5.7 so with all that I also then go went into the master effects and you can do that by holding the shift knob at the on the right and clicking the um, navigation button. I turned on the multiband compressor and I put maximizer as the second preset. I put the reverb as HD hall and the um, preset at large hall. For the common um, reverb, I have it set to 11. And then for the part reverb, that is set to 11 as well and so with all that when all that is said and done this is your white grand
now granted right now I have my um, velocity curve set to hard but if I put it to normal this is also what it sounds like And that is it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video was a tremendous blessing to you guys. Stay tuned for the next video, which I will be showing you how to um, sample VST instruments. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.